So our sink, our kitchen sink has gotten clogged up and I'm up before work to try to fix it. I, I normally, well, this is our sink here. I normally uh, never use a plunger on it or anything when it does get clogged up. I'll, I have a little um, coffee cup cap, a rubber coffee cup cap that's the size of a coffee cup that I usually put over the drain here. It's only about that thick and I just kind of plunge it with that and that's always worked before to get it unplugged. I probably did something stupid. I went out and bought one of these which puts way too much pressure. Are you stupid or something? I, I hardly pushed on it. I mostly pulled to try to get some suction coming out. Stupid is as stupid does, sir. But that didn't do anything either. So I heard online or watched YouTube videos online. I can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. That said, use uh, white vinegar and baking soda and let it set overnight, which I did. I haven't tried it yet to see if it's draining, but what I'm gonna do anyhow is clean out the trap underneath, which I guess you can't see yet. I'm gonna turn on the light. Okay, there. I'm gonna pull this this trap off here and just see if I can clean that out anyhow and uh, so this is our plumbing it comes down from the sink here goes here turns and follows this out um, to there I'm not gonna be able to do anything beyond that but we will try it and see I don't know if any of you have uh dealt with clogged sinks normally it's pretty easy to fix in a trailer uh, again you just well first you got to watch what you're putting in the sink and our daughter and me <laughs> don't always do that anyhow um generally they it comes unclogged really easily but uh i don't know what's causing this but i did notice and let me turn the camera back around I did notice that um, when I did have water in the sink, uh, these uh, were leaking just slightly and I felt them and they, were, they weren't even quite hand tight. Um, I tightened them a little bit more. But uh, anyhow, so the, I'm hoping they're gonna be easy to pull, unscrew and get off. Let's figure out which way it goes. Sure, it's gonna make a mess in here. I'm trying to do all this before I had any coffee and before I go to work today. So I did get some plumber's tape. I do have plumber's tape, but it doesn't look like they used any. And I hope I'm not gonna break any seals. Whoa. And now it's draining. Besides the baking soda, it's pretty clogged up there. So I am going to clean that out. Okay, I just decided I'm going to try to shake it out this way first. I don't know if most of that's just the baking soda we put in and it's still clogged up beyond this. out I think okay that's still a mess let me get some rubber gloves hold on okay. rubber glove time
Okay. Let's get this cleaned out under there. Should have did put the gloves on way before I even started. Oh yeah, it's still clogged up up there too. Yep. Okay, that's as far as I can get out of there. Man, this is really loose. So I guess that's just a vent. Or not even a yeah, I guess that's just a vent up there. Yep. So I guess that's okay for it to be loose. And what's back there? So that's what that looks like. Alrighty. Let's get this back together. Let's see if we fixed anything or if it's farther in there. Question is how it goes back together now. This one must let's go this way. Do one handed. Let's see what we can do. Bailey. Like I said at the beginning, these weren't even quite completely hand tightened, so you definitely don't want to over tighten them. Oops. So I'm not putting too much pressure on them. And that looks crooked to me, so. Not sure what's going on with that. Take it off. Try it again. Actually, I guess that doesn't matter. I think it's just sitting on the pipe crooked. There we go. We'll see what that ends up doing. I may end up leaking, but let's just see if the clog's undone. Nope. Still clogged up. So it's farther down the line, it looks like. So, gonna need to get something else and stick down there and see if I can get it maybe at that elbow T joint. <sighs> Bummer. Okay. Well, it is draining a little faster, but... Okay, what I did, what I was thinking is maybe there's just some air in the line now. So what I did, which unfortunately I didn't get on camera, is I put the plunger on there and barely pushed down. But then I just kind of gave it a little yank to get some pressure going. All of a sudden the water gurgled and it started going down. So, two things could have happened. Either it came unclogged, you know, it had an air pocket after um, being clogged up and everything's working fine or just that little bit of suction punctured a line underneath and um, leaking out under the trailer which I have to let it run for a few minutes if we have a, a covering on or underneath the trailer before it starts but I'm going to run out and check. Okay, so I'm outside, 
and uh, so far I don't see anything leaking. But. So right about here is where our sink is, right through here in the drain. You see if it's coming out, I do have the valve open. it starts pouring I think that may have done it I think what happened was it was clogged up at the trap there and when I got that unclogged it had an air pocket from emptying the trap and so the water wouldn't siphon on out so once I Pulled the air out. I think that started the water flowing. So let's make sure it's still flowing. Yes, it is. All right. So, my <laughs> glasses are fogged up. Anyhow, I think that's our worst uh, disaster we've had in the trailer. Had other things like a part on the toilet broke and was leaking. Those are all easy to fix. This one I was a little more concerned with since it's always been easy to unclog it until today so anyhow um if you have any questions or comments i'm sure you're gonna have plenty of comments about the way i did this but it worked so anyhow have a good day and hey it's almost christmas so merry christmas i forgot to mention did the white vinegar and baking soda actually help unclog the drain and the answer is i don't know since i didn't try it before but as clogged as it was, I kind of doubt it, but it, we may not have added enough white vinegar because that was mostly baking soda that was in the trap. So who knows? I will try baking soda and white vinegar again if it does get clogged up. And if you're wondering what the recipe is or whatever, I think I got it from Long Long Honeymoon or actually Karen got it from their YouTube channel, I believe. I could be wrong on that. And I just want to give them credit in case it was them. What I did, or what they recommended, I believe, and again, you can watch their videos, is, I'm not even sure, a cup of baking soda and a cup of white vinegar, maybe. But I think that he also said he had to add more. Um, so I don't know. But anyhow, that's uh, it. And it's unclogged. So now just packing everything away and, and firing up my computer and going to work. So talk to you later.